Hello and welcome to episode 11 of our Westum campaign. In the last episode, we went to war with Gwed and we took all the lands that would once belonged to Exmas, which uh, of course Gwed got into a personal union, and then they fully integrated them, or they integrated through when they died, whatever happened, they were fully integrated. And then we went and we took the land back because it is rightful empire clay and therefore cannot belong to Gwed. Now we declared war on Pearl's Edge then because from this we got claims down here from the mission tree. And we declared this in order to prevent a massive coalition from firing. Now we just have two medium-sized coalitions. Yeah, and that's better. That's obviously better. Uh, I can't take anything in this war. Otherwise, everyone will be mad at me. And we're a little bit of a risk of adding Eskin into coalitions then. And, and Booslar. And I don't want Booslar to join. Or I guess not. I guess that's my ally, huh? <laughs> I, I haven't played for a whole day and I'm already forgetting who my allies are. Uh, so I don't know how much they're actually going to take here. Um, we'll see though, but I want to stay in this war as long as possible because right now I will be elected emperor, but that's only because Istralor is at war with Moonhaven. Otherwise, Moonhaven votes for Istralor and then Istralor votes for themselves and then they are going to win it. So I have to make sure that I continue to be in this war until Wex dies. Now, Wex is 54, right? 53. He's 53. And if he dies, he'll become a person under Laurent, which I, I mean, I really don't care. Laurent's nothing. Uh, but I just need to make sure that he dies. He's 53. He could die at any moment. And I really hope he dies soon. The problem is we're winning this war very fast. We're winning this war very, very fast. So I'm going to stop sieging things. And I'm going to hope that the AI does bad. And I'm just going to walk back. And we're just going to start looting all of these provinces in Moonhaven. Again. We're just gonna we're gonna really really hope that uh, <laughs> uh, that everything goes well here. Also, we took out Varivar, Varivar, because Wex got partitioned by a bunch of people, so we no longer have to deal with them. Uh, we do have some rebels I want to pop up. Tornair separatists. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to deal with those, but we'll loot for now. There's a fort back there, so it's not too big of a deal. Looting all of this off of Moonhaven, making sure they know who is boss. Come on, Wex, I need you to die, buddy. I really, 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 really need you to die. Uh, we need to pull you back. We are keeping our relations maxed with Istralor as well. Just just to make their, make sure that things go all right. Go ahead and improve with everyone around us. I do have a little bit of money here that I could spend. And I probably should do so. Uh, are there any particularly good trade nodes around here that I need to build on? Uh, no... No, it looks like all of the, the trade spots are fully taken care of. Unless I grab some up here. Doesn't look like I have. Okay. Then, manufactories. I don't think we have any good ones up yet. Nope. No good ones up yet there. Barracks, though. We can get some more manpower. And we can get some force limit as well. Wonderful. We're making lots of money. Even without looting. Even though, you know, looting's giving me 3.8. Uh, we are still doing quite well on the old income. Which is wonderful to see. Really, really wonderful to see. Come on, Wex. Oh, he got an air. Okay, people aren't voting for them anymore, though. So Wex is out of the running. So he just needs to die? And that doesn't really change the fact that I need to be at war. Uh, yeah. That's going to be a problem. You just start looting Sesteronde here. Do I have a general I can throw on you? Yeah. Do that. So you take a little bit less attrition damage, I hope. Something like that. Uh, and then we will loot these two provinces here. So there's no more left. Do we have some ex or Separatists? I'll send these 24k back to deal with them. I do need to throw down a fort up here somewhere, most likely. Unfortunately, there is no good fort here other than Salt Marsh. Uh, but we're not going to be taking any land outside of our mission tree because we're already kind of pushing things here a little bit, you could say. Uh, so we're going to have to do... Or I can go and take this from Rubenair. It'd be nice, right? It'd be nice to have this. It's a mountain fort that I can throw down right here and really, really protect this. Uh, petition for membership. It is rare indeed for the Empire of Aminar to expand, but nothing in Imperial law appears to forbid it. As we have ruled over Madelaire for quite some time, we might consider whether to champion their cause for membership of the Empire. Oh. So I can request that Madelaire join the Empire. And I'm going to be honest. I don't want them to. I really don't want them to. I don't think that's a good idea. Ah, whatever. We'll ask. 
This is a rare event. You don't usually get this event. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and join in. Uh, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. You have some. Okay, you are fully looted. Uh, go ahead and loot Moonhaven's capital. This is what you get for going to war against me. Yo, we've dealt with the rebels. We can send you back over into Conwell. We're at 99%. I don't think he's going to die in time. Please, 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 please. I need you to die. I beg of you. I beg of you. I beg of you. I beg of you. I really need you to die, man. I really do. It's, it's the best for everyone, okay? You can't defend the Empire anymore. You are nothing. You are broken and tiny and weak. I am strong and cool and awesome. Yeah. That's some sound logic right there, by the way. Very, very sound logic. Uh, I suppose we can just do a little bit of workshop spam. Make sure we're getting as much production out of it as we possibly can from every single province. Okay. Personal unions. Yeah. Rock cleaver. Yeah. OPM rock cleaver. Personal union. Let's go. That's exactly what I want. Look at that. Seven development. Yeah. That'll that'll do. That'll, that'll be so good for us. Oh, man. You just... You just wait and see. You just wait and see. Uh, we have more stuff we can loot up here. Again, I'm I'm fine staying in this war. I do not care. Like I do not care in the slightest. This does not hurt me. It might hurt my allies, but you know, suffer, <laughs> suffer with me. Why don't you suffer with me? All right. I owe Chan declared war on the rent. Oh no, the rent's so scary. <laughs> Uh, plus, this is just letting aggressive expansion tick down, even if it is a little bit. Uh, and I do have the mage spell, right? <laughs> just, just want to make absolutely clear. Yes, I do. Now, as for our ruler magic, legendary and abjuration, field of freedom, field of fortification, every province of the land continent, land connection to the capital, gains twenty five percent local defensiveness and minus point one monthly devastation, and a field of forbiddance. These are all just so good, by the way. They're all so good. Uh, I have Divination Renowned as well. I could do Lure Seeker if I was studying. That gives you an automatic 100 magical experience study. It's really good. Uh, Scrying General Fair is also very good for the power cost reduction. But no, I was looking more at, I believe it's Conjuration for Magnificent Feast. That gives a specific country 50 opinion. Okay, so it's not, you know, it's not like great. Not exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, what was my, oh, hey, look, there it is. There we go. Madelaire uh, becomes a part of the Empire. Nice. I think it was Enchantment. Yeah, Enchantment has Charm Diplomats for more improved relations, but we are not at that level yet, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, Magisters, let's go ahead and get back up. Magnificent Feast. Yep, just do it. And we can go indebted to the Merchant Guilds. Yeah. That's fine. And then we could just use that money to actually like build buildings and stuff. That's not a problem. Uh, more force limit. Sounds great. I need to purchase a new age ability. I think we're going to go for shock damage. I mean, it's plus 30% shock damage. That's because we are a core knight. So we want to make sure that we are taking advantage of that. So we know most of this is probably looted. Almost. Almost. Yeah, we're just chilling on 99%. Just chilling. Waiting for Wex to die. Wow, Isterlor is like super enthusiastic about voting for me now. 390 crowns for money? Yeah, I'll I'll do that. I can exploit some tax stab to prevent any more loans. Don't want to take too many loans, right? That's fine. Yeah, coalition, small coalition. Uh, as for tech, uh, I can take the next offensive pip and Inno. Yeah, I would like to get textile mills, but I'd rather just complete our next national idea, which is a little ambient cost. Westham's close proximity to the imperial metropolis of Anman Kos has led to the formation of a number of merchant enclaves being set up along the West Marian coast. Their close relationship with the city has led to an influx of trade through our ports. Cool. I mean, it is our capital, so I, I hope it, I hope it's well. I hope it's good for us. Good, good, good. Cornite is spreading to other parts of the empire, and we're going to be enforcing people to convert if I have the war score for it as well be super super exciting for episode i'm all of a sudden making 94 something tells me that that is just uh, not entirely correct <laughs> not i'm not sure what part of it it is but i'm pretty sure pretty sure that's not how that works now my truce with wex is up in 31 so that's when i'll go and take this 
Now we're just we're just chilling. We're just chilling. Imports compete with less demanding quality. Uh, I don't care if Duran likes me or not. Not a single bit. Not a single bit. Okay. Baravarian Separatists. I can send some guys over to deal with that. We can just continue to loot. I, I don't want to peace out. I do not want to peace out. It, I will not win the Emperorship if I peace out. I don't think. I don't think I will. Now, if I can force people to release nations in these peace deals as well, I may want to do that. Because if we look at our Paragon Hood, uh, we can get... Oh, also, am I not able to convert here? No. So I'm just spending... 4.81 for literally no reason. Cool. If I can get my Paragon Hood back up higher, that would be awesome. So, honoring alliances, releasing vassals and nations, returning cores, and enacting government reforms. Uh, okay. Well, held off as long as I could. Can I force convert you? Nope, you're too big. Okay. Give me money. And war reps. Sure. Oh, the proper coalition, right? I can't ever piece them. But Sister Ronde, I can. You go ahead and give me money. And war reps. And return cores to Yilin. And, uh... Give up your claims in Istralor. I guess, because they're my ally. And... Break that alliance. And this alliance. And get rid of your cores. On my ally. Uh, yeah. There we go. Let's move all of our guys back. Copper Town Center to Military Coalition. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. So yeah, if I took all of this, almost everything I have claims on, uh, I am inviting death. I'm inviting death doing this. Um, I don't think this is a good idea. As much as I want to. As much as I really, really want to, I don't think it's quite worth it for me to do so. But if I can grab the Pearly Wine Estuary, I'll get so much more trade power here. Like, I can use this way more than Pearl's Edge can use this. Way more. So if I just take this, that's 41 aggressive expansion. No, I don't take anything. I take money. I take war reps. You transfer your trade power to me. And you give up your claims in me. And... Wait, why can't I do this? Cost 19? I can demand that Conwell return something. Sure. Yeah. Turn that core to them for more Paragon Hood. That will give me... How much Paragon Hood? 16. 16 Paragon Hood. And give me a little bit less money. We'll peace out. Alright, well... What happens now? These two are still voting for me. But see, he flips to Istralor, which means he's going to start voting for himself. Um, yeah. See, that's where we... <laughs> that's where we run into problems. Because uh, he's still... He's historical friends with them. Yeah. Uh, I think we're just going to have to take it in the League War. Though I don't know how that's going to work if Istralor gets it. Because Istralor is Coronite. Hmm. Hmm. I would have to somehow convince Moonhaven to vote for me. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that one. Not sure how I'm going to do that one. That's going to be very different. Well, 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 well. I can cast the spell, which gives 50 opinion. Right? From... Is it divination? General affairs. The desire. Expand. This gives me improved relations for minus diplo rep. For a year. It's for a year. Uh, what was the spell? Magnificent feast. Oh, it's only for my allies. Ah, uh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Well, that doesn't really help me much. No, it doesn't. No, don't do that then. Don't do that then. All right, well, let's have you drill. You stay there. You... How good is my consort? 
Uh, she's not very good. She's a fantastic general, though. Wow, look at that. Look at that. One, four, three, two. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Does this give me improved relations? No. Uh, I'm good. Let's go ahead and drill. So, let's see here. How many troops can I have? I can have up to 82,000 troops. And I have the income for it. I absolutely have the income for it. So let's bring these two together. Let's look. What is combat with? Combat with is 25. 25. So let's just bring you up to 10,000. For a full, good, early game cannon stack. Then I think we're just going to create a template. Of having... 25 of you. And I'll go like 4 horsies. And then like three cannons. This will take me over my force limit. By how much? By a lot. But that's what I would like to build up to. For now though, we'll just build a bunch of infantry. And we will bring them all together. There we go. Uh, I can take tech. No need to do that yet. We are looking just fine. Looking just fine. I always have to figure out a way to become emperor. If I can get Moonhaven to vote for me, then I win. Like I, I win the election. It's not a problem. Question is, how do I how do I pull that off? I can take on their foreign debt. Sure. I have loans to repay. Shoot. Uh, definitely give me the stab though. Right. I have to pay off my loans before I can influence people, which is very sad. Very very sad. Uh, can I sell land? No, I cannot. I can revoke land, but I cannot sell it. Not reasonably. Well, hold on. How much development can I do? Give me the cheapest spots. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. I'm okay falling a little bit behind on, on this Diplotech. It's not a big deal. Uh, that gets my crown land up to 29. You know what? I'll do it. Do it. And then develop a little bit to get over 20. There we go. There we go. Perfect. So now I can pay off my loans. Which means I can go over to Moonhaven. I can influence them. Wonderful. So now hopefully they become not outraged. Perfect. They're friendly. Now we ally them. Now they vote for us. They vote for us. They switch their vote to me. They switch their vote to me. <laughs> no. Bro, I just got this alliance. Are you insane? I literally just got this alliance. And I can't afford to break this. If I break this, that coalition is going to fire. Bro. I just spent so much money. <laughs> At least we can finish Inno Ideas, though. <laughs> oh, man. Came with the advisor cost and Diplo rep. It was a good run. It was a very good run. Uh, is my tax good? My tax is decent. What culture are you? Pearl's Edger? Oh, yeah. I need to accept some cultures in here. Unfortunately, that does mean I'll probably have to accept the Laurentish. Uh, you are a dirt cheap level two advisor, so we're gonna upgrade you to level three. Yeah, I mean, we have we have to we have to accept this. I don't have a choice. If I don't accept it, I die. Okay. If I don't accept it, I die. There's just no way around it. There, there we go. Laurent's gonna join. Belacare is gonna join. I'm still nervous that this coalition's gonna fire. Uh, yeah, now he's definitely not going to vote for me. Uh, who else could I influence? Maybe BPEC? No, there's no way. There's no way I bring that down. No way I bring that down. Enters insult clergy. Ooh, okay. Uh, words of words? It's fine. Uh, the Crimson Deluge. As the prophets of Corin spread her message across the continent, what can only be described as an apocalyptic scene has transpired in many parts of the Empire. The sky would darken as if about to rain, only to open and release a torrent of blood onto the unsuspecting citizens. Horrified, crowds of people rushed through the streets, trying to escape from the plasma showers. Many were crushed and trampled as they attempted to escape what could only be seen as the end of the world. 
Whether someone acknowledges Corrin or Dian as their divine mother or father, all agree that this is irrefutable evidence of a bloody and terrible war in the heavens themselves. It is only a matter of time that rivers are not fed by the blood of gods, but by the blood of men. A sign of Corrin's truth. So if you remain Regent Court and you are in the Crimson Deluge area, which is like all of this, like in here, <laughs> uh, you will lose two stability. But because we are Coronite, this is just proof that Corrin's uh, the true heir to the Pantheon. And we gain one stability, which puts us at plus three, which is amazing. <sighs> Moonhaven, there's nothing personal about this, okay? There's nothing personal about this. I don't have a choice. I'll fight your rebels, though, okay? Oh, also, it's you have plus 50% stab cost modifier. <laughs> That's that, Can't forget that part. Uh, let's get our boats out to prevent them from crossing back over. And hopefully, Boostalar gives me this. Because uh, if not, I'm going to be real mad. Real mad. I'll make sure that you like me. Unfortunately, you have an air. Right now, what happens? What happens? Oh, God. Historical friends make it really difficult for me to uh, pull that off. Do they have defensiveness here with wards and such? No. That's just straight up defensiveness. All right, respect. Respect. Uh, we, we need to build a fort over here. I can't wait for the mountain fort. I have to build one, and I think Exus is going to be the best spot. Actually, no. I think Exus by the sea is the best spot. Because I'll have naval superiority. Bold statement, I know. But that would give me a little bit more defensiveness. So that's what we're going to go for. Looking at our fort line here? Yeah, we're looking, looking all right. I'm just going to leave this 17 here. That way they can't walk through. It would be annoying. I don't really need them over here. Uh, my ally only called me in only to help with the sieges, I'm pretty sure. But you know what? Understandable. Understandable. But it is kind of annoying that he keeps calling me in. I'm just saying, I would prefer not to be called in to attack the Empire. Maybe once in a while. <laughs> once in a while, it would be nice. Also, I don't have my War Wizard charge here, which is, uh, you know, not the most optimal thing in the world. Shameful defeat. Siliande is getting partitioned. You sit here, we deal with these rebels. Perfect. Okay, now we have to keep an eye on the Gawed truce. In 34, we have to declare on Gawed. I cannot let Gawed join the coalition. If they join, it probably will fire, and I would rather it not. Well, no, I would rather it not. Uh, as for our tier 5 government reform, let's go for... Production efficiency, I guess. It's fine. There we go. Let's actually put our really good ruler on here. That way we can blast through this fort like it's no big deal. Look at that. Minus 15% to each ability. Uh, please do not sack their capital. Please do not sack their capital. Please do not sack their capital. I'm begging you, do not do it. Please. Please, 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 please. Wait, oh, well, they pieced them out. That's right. I unseech their stuff. No. Okay, I'll influence them again. Okay, there we go. They'll be willing to re-ally me now. Just a little war amongst friends. Look, I even, I, I freed your capital, okay? I freed your capital. Uh, as for you, I do need to get some more participation. That way they actually give me things. Also, why am I not stating this up? I, I don't care if it takes me over going capacity. Yeah, I, I still want to state it up. Regulus, regulation of medical professionalism. My 15% dev cost in Stoneview. Uh, actually, I'm just going to take the admin power. I need to turn off these edicts. You will deal with Wex's troops. I'll do it. Hand this all over to Busalar. That way he actually pieces out. Oh, it's going to be a pain. We really have to get a personal union on Busalar this game. Really have to get a personal union on him. Otherwise, we're going to be in for a bad, bad, bad time. Okay, you take that. You start walking home. Yeah. Our war participation is 25%. Uh, yes. Ooh, lose a stab. Sucks. Please, please, this one province. I need this one province, okay? You can have everything else, just 
please give me my province. I have a claim on. I beg of you. You don't even need it. You, you're never going to need it. Please. Please. Access by the sea is fully cored up. Okay, there we go. That's the end of that war, I think. I'm pretty sure. You have Nathalir involved. Okay, we're going to send our troops down south to try and go fight these guys. We're not going to get there in time. Uh, all right. Well, is the AI going to feel generous? Let's see. Trally Minstrel, yes. So right now, if we die, there is a 32% chance that we inherit our personal union, which would be pretty nice. I won't lie. Be pretty nice. Uh, you... I'll take on your foreign debt. Yep, they'll make you like me more. Yes, 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 yes. They're voting for me. They're voting for me. Okay. I just have to make sure they continue to do that. I need to take Miltech. Okay, Nathalair's out. So now you give me Wex's province. Please, please, please. I'm begging you, AI. Do this for me. Please, I need it. I need it very badly. You all drill. You... Mm. Okay. We're going to have to wait longer. We're going to have to wait longer. Busalar, you jerk. You're a jerk. Look at that. Trust. Yeah, we need to increase our... No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's not accidentally do that. No, I want to increase my trust. Do not keep attacking into the Empire. Don't do it. I need to become Emperor so they stop doing that. It unironically is the safest thing for the Empire is if I become Emperor. So that won't necessarily stop him. But it will lessen the likelihood that he goes to war with Empire members. Because he'd have to go to war with me and he can't call me in. Plus, I would get super strong if I became Emperor. My force limit would go through the roof. Uh, speaking of force limit, let's continue working on that. Fortnite Firebrand. Okay, nice. How many more boats can I have? Decent amount. We need to make sure that we keep just ultimate naval supremacy in here. We have to. We have to. Otherwise, we're in for a very, very bad time. Very, very bad time. All right, we are drilling. Uh, Furious Flagellant Frenzy. The Crimson Daily is just driving many people to madness. A small group has started whipping themselves in the streets, driving the others towards radical action. Five unrests and we lose five Paragon Hood. Very, very sad. How old is this guy? Come on, man. You're 60 years old. Die. Gizden's actually really close to voting for me. Where are you, Gizden? You. Yeah, he's not outraged at me. Oh, in fact, I, haven't, I don't have any improved relation. Oh, God. Okay. Improved relation? Uh, let's go ahead and influence him. Bring him onto our side. Take Miltech. No debate in Parliament. Okay, I'll fix that. Come on. Here we go. Influence Nation. Wonderful. Do I have a relation slot? I don't. I don't, but it's it's worth it. It's worth the alliance. Just to triply confirm that I'm going to be elected. I need him to vote for me. Oh, nice. He's strict. Plus five discipline. Amazing. Amazing. I can convert provinces. I'm good. Uh, start debate. Diplomats. Fort maintenance. Visor cost. Isn't there one for... Uh, I thought maybe there was one for getting... Uh, improved relations, but I don't think there is. I think that's just wishful thinking. <laughs> is there one for a diplomacy slot? Probably not. That would be really strong to be able to roll consistently. Um, no. No. Sure. Don't really want to, but I will. Uh, let's see here. Also, for those of you who don't know, these change every month. I'm going to go for an extra diplomat. It's fine. Should probably strengthen government. I mean, they're voting for me, so it's okay. Yeah, I've got four votes. So, at this point, I think we're pretty secure. As long as Busalar doesn't somehow mess things up for me. I'm pretty sure we're good. And we're not going to have problems about being elected. Now we still have this problem. But the aggressive expansion is dying down. Look, it's only 28. 
63. 62. Look, Gwed's, Gwed's is 28, so I don't even have to worry about them joining the coalition. I think we're good. Uh, I think this coalition is going to fall apart on a reload. Uh, is there anyone else that wants an alliance, maybe? Just for future... Ah, no. Nah, no one that's really worth it. Scandal at, war, at court? I'm not losing a stab. Uh, for Corners Justin's Cornite Firebrand, a preacher has appeared in Dame's Teeth preaching the great fervor about the war of the gods in Corners Justice, bringing people to action for Corn. We lose 10 on rest, we gain 5 Paragon then. We're going to private advisor to take the blame. We're going to lose our Diplo advisor. No. I need him. I need him, please. Do not take him away from me. He is absolutely necessary. Uh, you need to get up to like 25. You need to get up to 25 as well. With two cav. There we go. You can start to drill. And can I revoke land? No, not until 1533. But that's going to have to be in the next one. Because this is where we're going to have to leave it off for today. I'm hoping in the next one we can get elected. Uh, all it takes is the 60... Man, they really, really, really want me to lose the stability. Fine. I'll lose the stability game. Okay, I'll lose it. I really need Wex to die. Uh, he's... He's 61, so he could die at any time. And then I will become Emperor, which will make my life a little bit easier. A little bit easier, for sure. Uh, I still need to annex Pearl's Edge, if possible. But most importantly, is grabbing this and forming Demaria pretty much as soon as the truce is up. As long as Booslar doesn't mess it up. But that is going to do it for today. I would like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.